Good morning students and welcome to today's maths class. So in the previous class we had started with the next chapter that is addition. Right, so we had started with a new chapter. So what all did we do in addition? First we saw what is addition. So what is the meaning of addition? Combining two or more numbers together to find a total or a sum. Right, so we saw a few different methods. So we saw that here now uh, I showed you example of these sheep, right? So there were two sheep at a farm, and one more sheep joined those two sheep. So to find how many sheep were there in the farm, what we did was we counted all the sheep together, or we found a total. So two and three makes two and one makes three, right? So two plus one is three. Okay, so that was the addition sign. And also you can write it like this vertically 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. So this is what is addition. Then we saw how to count and add. So here we have two sets of bicycles. So what we did, we counted these bicycles as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we continued counting them as 1, uh, 6, 7, 8. Right. So there are total of 8 bicycles in this picture. Okay, so your answer will be 8. In the same way we counted the number of bananas here. So, first what we did in the first set of pictures, we counted the number of bananas. And then we continued with the counting for the second set. So, here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 9 bananas. <coughs> so, same way with the number of oranges. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so this was how to count and add. We saw various examples on count and add. So here the total number of bees are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then we saw total number of hats. How many are there? 1, 2, then 3, 4, and 5. And how total number of eggs. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so this is how you count and and then we saw what is addition by counting fingers. So how you can do this? Now if I tell you to add 3 and 5. So you will hold 3 in one hand and add uh, 3 fingers in one hand and add 5 more fingers. Alright. So then you get the total number of fingers which are open. So when you count them, 3 plus 5 makes an 8. So then we saw various examples. So this is 3 plus 1. Then 2 plus 2, 2 plus 1, 3. Alright, and we saw various problems on that. Okay, so in today's class what we'll do is we'll learn a new method to do addition. That is using tally marks. So addition using tally marks. Okay, so here I have a number 5. So what I'll do, I'll draw 5 straight lines like this. Okay, so 1, this is 2, 3, 4 and 5. So this 5 I want to add plus 2 to it. Now so here the number 2 is there. So what we'll do we'll draw 2 more lines 1 and 2. Now what we'll do we'll start counting the lines. So here this is one line then this is 2 3 4 this is 5 Correct. So, 5 lines and then here we have 6 and 7. So, how many lines we have in total? We have a total of 7. Right. So, 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. Okay. So, these straight lines are nothing but tally marks. So, whatever number you have to add, draw that many lines and continue counting them. Okay. So, this is how you would use tally marks. Now let's see a few questions on that. So we have 7 plus 3. So what they have done here, they have written, they have drawn few tally marks. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and this is 7. And then here we have 3. So that is 8, 9 and 10. So what is our answer over here? Our answer is 10. Okay, so 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. 
Okay, so let's see the next question. 2 plus 5. So how will we do 2 plus 5? What we'll do is, first we'll start drawing tally marks. So 2 means we'll do 2 tally marks. 1, 2. And here we have 5. So 1, then 2, 3, 4, and this is 5. So 2 plus 5. So how much will be 2 plus 5? So we'll start counting again. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. So your answer is 7. Okay, so 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. Let's see one more problem. 5 plus 3. How much is 5 plus 3? So let's draw the tally marks first. So here I'll draw 5 tally marks. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. They should be straight lines, okay? And this is 3. 1, 2, and 3. So when you count that, we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. Okay, 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. So this was tally marks. Let's see a few more problems on tally marks. So what you will do here, you will uh, keep drawing the tally marks and then counting them. So 2. So 1, 2 and then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So how much is 2 plus 5? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 2 plus 5 is 7. Okay, then we have 6 here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And this is 4. So 7, 8, 9 and 10. So these are 4. So 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. Okay, then 2. 2 plus 4. So we'll do 2 tally marks. 1, 2. And then we have 4. So we'll add 4 tally marks to that. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So 2 plus 4 will be how much? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2 plus 4 is 6. Then 5 plus 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then 1, 2, 3. So 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. So when you count the total, it will be 8. Now 5 plus 5. So how much will be 5 plus 5? First we will draw 5 tally marks here in front of 5. And then again 5 here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So when you count them, you will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. Then 3 plus 4. So first you draw 3 tally marks. 1, 2, 3. Then you add 4 to it. So 1, 2, 3 and 4. So then we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have a total of 7. 3 plus 4 is 7. Okay, so this is how you use tally marks. Now let's see a few problems on tally marks in your textbook so page 89 in your textbooks okay so here are a few questions now when you see 4 plus 3 they've already done the tally mark so you just have to count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 4 plus 3 is 7 okay then add make by making tally marks so mark make the tally marks next to the numbers 4 plus 1 so we'll do 4 tally marks here 1 this is 2 this is 3 and 4 then there's 1 4 plus 1 so we'll draw only 1 here so how many we have total 1 2 3 4 5 so 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 then 6 plus 2 so if you'll draw 6 tally marks here 1 2 3, 
4, 5, 6 and here we have 2. So 1 and 2. So when you count them you will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 6 plus 2 is 8. Then 5 plus 4. So first we will draw 5 tally marks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then 4. So 5 plus 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so 5 plus 4 is 9. Okay, so that is 9. Then 2 plus 2. So this is 1, 2, then plus 2 again. So 3, 4. So 2 plus 2 is 4 then 3 plus 2 so we'll do 3 tally marks first 1 2 and 3 then 2 so 1 2 so 3 plus 2 is how much 1 2 3 4 5 so that is 5 okay so this is how you do addition by ta uh, making tally marks now there are four more problems left 1 2 3 and 4 do that for your homework do that for your homework and move for now we'll move on to the next topic that is adding zero so now we are going to see what is the meaning of adding zero okay what is the meaning of zero we saw in the last chapter zero means nothing zero has no value at all so zero means nothing okay so when you add zero to any number okay so here what they've done they have taken three cakes in one plate and in another plate there are no cakes at all. So you have to find the total number of cakes. So how many you will have? Three and this in this plate nothing is there. So that will be zero. Three plus zero. Since uh, there is nothing to add in the second plate, your total number of cakes will be three only. So three plus zero will be three itself. So when you add a, a zero to any number, you will get your final answer as that number itself. Okay, same way here. There are two apples here and here there are zero apples. So, how many apples are there in total? Two plus zero, two. So, there are only two apples. Okay, so same way zero plus one. How much will be zero plus one? It will be one itself then 0 plus 5 0 plus 5 will be 5 0 plus 2 it will be 2 and 1 plus 0 will be 1 so you add anything to 0 your answer will be that number itself which you are adding 0 to ok so this is adding zeros let's see a few questions on adding 0 so first we have 0 plus 9 how much do you think 0 plus 9 is? Whenever you add, 0 ha zero means nothing. So, when you are adding nothing to 9, 9 will remain as it is. So, 9 will remain 9 only. Then, 2 plus 0 will be 2. 0 plus 8, 8. Then, 0 plus 6, 6. 1 plus 0, 1. 7 plus 0, 7. 5 plus 0, 5, 10 plus 0 is 10, two, 0 plus 2 is 2, 0 plus 1 is 1, 6 plus 0 is how much? It will be 6, then 0 plus 3 is 3, 4 plus 0 is 4, 0 plus 1 is 1 and 9 plus 0 is 9. Okay, so this is adding 0. Now, let's see a few questions in your textbook. So, see here what they have told the first line. Adding 0 means adding nothing. So, the number remains the same. Okay, the number remains the same. Now, here we have some muffins. So, let's see how many are there. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5 so we have 5 muffins here and in the second one there is nothing so that will be 0 so 5 plus 0 so whenever you add 0 to anything then the number remains the same so 5 muffins will remain 
5 muffins only. See here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then in the first picture we have nothing. It means it is 0. Then in the second picture you have mangoes. How many mangoes are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then, then how much is 0 plus 7? Seven? 7 will remain the same. That is 7 will remain 7 only. So 7 mangoes will remain as 7 mangoes. So see here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, now here we have chocolate. So how many chocolates are there? This is 1, 2, 3, 4. So there are 4 chocolates. And, how, and in the second box there are no chocolates at all. So that is 0. So how many chocolates uh, does the final box have? 4 plus 0 is 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 plus 0 is 4 only. Then here first box is empty means it is 0. Then the second box has 6 carrots. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 0 plus 6, 6 remains as it is. So here also there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 carrots itself. So 0 plus 6 remains 6. Okay. Then add the numbers. How much is 3 plus 0? So we know that 0 means nothing. And the number remains the same. So 3 plus 0, 3 will remain 3 only. Then 6 plus 0, here 6 will remain 6 only. So 6 plus 0 is 6. Then 8 plus 0, to add 8 plus 0, 0 again. It is since it's 0 and it has uh, nothing, it is nothing. 8 plus 0 will remain 8. Then 9 plus 0 will be Yes, it will be 9. Then 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 4 is 4. 0 plus 7 will be 7. And 0 plus 5 will be 5. Okay, so this is adding 0. So in today's class, what we saw, we saw what is adding by making tally marks and adding 0. Right, so the next class we will see how to do addition using number line. Okay, so I will see you all in the next class. Okay, we will continue in the next class. Okay, students, thank you. Please do your homework that is uh, page number 89, the last four questions. 6 plus 1, 3 plus 6, 4 plus 3, 7 plus 1. So you have to use tally marks and then add so what you do first you draw tallies see how what is the number draw so many tallies and then count the tallies and add them okay so that is do these four questions for homework and complete your books all right thank you so much